my name's Scott, Scott Pickle, long time professional in the animation, mostly animation business. I had spent some time in California with Disney and Pixar, I spent some time in so mostly all feature animation work, some feature, some TV. Also, I've taught a lot at Sheridan College. I'm a bit of an animation dinosaur, I've been around since uh, before the stage. I also taught at Sheridan. You know, 40 years uh, uh, experience in all facets of the business, I've done a little bit of animation, a lot of layout, uh, uh, design, you know, production design, uh, a storyboarding, a little bit of background painting, a little bit of animation, a little bit of directing, a little bit of everything. We, we were roommates in, at Disney uh, with Scott. I worked in a lot of different television studios. It's a good viewpoint. The VPs are in a good place. Okay, the thing I immediately went to, and we haven't talked about this much before, but your ellipses are a bit off. When, if you're just drawing ellipses without trying to think in terms of like vanishing points and all the rest of it, an ellipse will generally stay horizontal. In other words, if you could draw a line across the ellipse, it would parallel the horizon, it would be horizontal. And you will find that. I mean, in drawings, linear perspective is not perfect. It's a system. It's a system that was invented. It was credited to all those artists in the Italian res uh, Renaissance. It doesn't do everything perfectly. And it doesn't recreate the way we see with our eyes. And what happens is that, you know, yeah, you get these distortions that creep into it. And one of the things that happens is when you get these, something on the lips, which is, you can see how it's tilted. Like if I drew a line across, if you draw it according to the grid perfectly, yeah, sometimes it will happen. But to get a good looking drawing, I always tell people, just, just sketch it in so that it's not flat, but horizontal will look better, that's all. So other than that, the idea is great. I love the way things going. And now, this is a case where you've grouped some things, like on the right side of the picture. It's a nice arrangement and uh, it's well spaced out. Move the sign back and overlap it with the counter. I think that's a very good idea. Under the, if you look at Route 66, it points down to that sort of that seam in the pathway. You know, all of a sudden that's too long. Underneath the meat on the left side, that counter may be a little long and the counter may be a little wide. So there's a few little things, they're little things. But those are small things. And, uh, and overall, when I look at this drawing, again, like I said in a few of the other drawings before that, I say, okay, this person's in good shape. Just give me 20 more drawings like this and you'll be really, really starting to loosen up. So good work. Look at, you know, go to Google and look up River's Edge. Look at Shoreline. There's lots of good artists. Get some photographs and then look at the photographs and look at this drawing. And then you'll see how the artist looks at, analyzes and stylizes reality. There's a, a, a series of Mobius uh, illustrations and they're called uh, Mobius coffee ads. And if you look at coffee ads, you, you look them up and you see these, these really complicated jungles. Everybody see those? Those complicated drawings? So look what's happening in those drawings. If you look carefully at the drawing, there are four or five separate plants. Is he's created a structure and then taking those four or five plants is gonna sprinkle them over the structure. So what you do is you don't get a forest and try to copy blade by blade the forest. You look and you understand the mechanism. And then you create caricatured tropes of the mechanism and you sprinkle them over the structure and then you've got a drawing that you can understand and then you can do quickly and you can do it in a storyboard or a layout and and you can make it creative because i can see you're sort of starting to do that but you're panicking i can see in the strokes when you're doing the cattails relax slow down learn how to draw a tree learn how the tree inter intersects with the hill and then you'll always be able to do that and like Frazetta and Mobius, you'll be able to do endless variations. Understand how the tree works. Understand the shapes that make the tree. So that's what, what this drawing needs. You're, if you know what you're drawing, you, you, you become a good artist.